So how's it going, folks? Uh, a little bit of a um, poorly kept secret video, shall we say? Kept secret. You poorly can't, kept. Can't I, contain yourself. I cannot contain myself. Um, we're not going to get into too much details at the moment, but yeah, we, we may have bought a farm. Maybe. Maybe. We've, we've submitted finance, and there's a few sticking points with the, um, the, finance, uh, the banks with that. Um, we ended up not being able to use our own bank. We had, had to go to a larger bank, yep. uh, just because of the criteria they have on what's residential and what's not. Basically, the property is a little bit larger than 40 acres. Just a bit. Just a bit larger than 40 acres. Uh, the, it's, it's not all what you would deem a, a commercial property uh, in that there's only a small amount that's cleared for cropping and cattle, so that's why it's classed as residential. Yep. And there is an environmental hold on logging on the property, uh, mainly because it has a couple of creeks in it. One seasonal, it was running every time but the last time we went, uh, just because it's a dry period here, or dry season in winter. It wasn't running yesterday when we went up for the pest and building inspection. So we've crossed a few milestones, so we thought we'd do this little bit of a video. Still a tease, because we're not going to show you all the property. No. 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 But do you want to give a bit of a run? Should we give them just a bit of a taste? Some of the video we've already taken? Just a little bit. Just a little bit? Okay, well, to begin with, um, there's about 35, so 30 to 35 acres of cleared land that we could run cattle on. Once we do improve pasture. Once we improve the pasture a bit, and as, as the current owner has said, it's just, you know, it's dry season, so the, the, the pasture hasn't come back. He's improved the pasture previously. And it's been a bit overgrazed. Yeah, a little bit overgrazed. So um, there is a little bit of work to do there. Maybe we might bring in some, um, some different grass varieties, native ones, try and rejuvenate the soil, look into doing um, some soil work, uh, because basically, uh, plants can only thrive in good soil, and soil is made good by the bacteria and the uh, biota that live in it, uh, the fungi, so we're going to look at improving that, regenerating the soil, so everything upstream from that, literally upstream from that, uh, gets to thrive, including us. Front paddock is divided by, what, four, four dams? Yeah, four dams across the front. Oh, four... and, and those other two little yeah. holding pools. I'd call them yeah, I dams. Don't, I don't think I got video of them, but I got video of the other dams. One of them's a rather, rather large one. The other three dams, though, they've all held water all through the dry season. There is a little bit of erosion leading into the dams, and I've already marked out a couple of spots mentally where some swales and uh, flow mitigation could go, uh, just to help the ease into the, the dams themselves. A lot of lantana, so a lot of goats. Down in that front paddock area, we're trying to clean out underneath all that. Two people live on the road. Yes. Oh, sorry, two houses are on the road, right. so we're half of that, or will be half of that. Down the back of the property, there is a natural billabong. It only fills up when it rains. It's basically an oxbow, uh, what do they call it? An oxbow pond. Basically, when, when the creeks flow, it, it fills with water. When it dries up, it just holds water. It previously probably was part of the direction of the creek itself. Had an old logging um, infrastructure oh, yeah. on there years ago. So there is a whole heap of cut sleepers and posts um, in the back paddock that are yet to be uh, pulled out. So that's something we'll look into. That's, and there's bits of the old railway that used to lead to the timber mill. Yeah, so it's, it's going to be a very interesting property to explore. And I, I yes. hope you guys all come along and have a bit of a gander who are into exploring, not just the, the farming side of bits and no. pieces. There's lots of quartz rock. As Lot, well. Yeah, lots of quartz rock, which in a little bit of ironstone. So you folks in the know will know what that's about. There is a house on it, which is the plus. There's a few issues with it, but we have the building and pest inspection done yesterday. Mm -hmm. So we'll be waiting on that report. There is a lot of sheds and a, a shed. chicken area and a piggery. She used to free range the pigs. There's a series of paddocks. I think we've gone beyond a bit of a sneak peek. Oh, we have really, haven't we? Mm. Okay, well, we might just leave it there. Oh, we're just so excited, like, seriously. Um, yeah, so it's moving the aquaponic system. I did a video on that, almost got it done, but then, yeah, just time got away from us. So hopefully that'll be up on the other channel if you want to suss that out. If you haven't, no, if you don't know, I've got an aquaponics channel as well. And it's got a couple of helpful DIY videos, so suss that out. Um, but yeah. Hopefully next week we'll have a, a proper reveal video. A little bit of sneaky vision from this week and some other bits and pieces we want to mention. Yeah. So we'll pretty much we'll leave it there. Yep. yep. Do hope you're all well and happy and we'll catch you next video. See ya. Catch ya.